Hey guys, welcome to my first loadouts video. Uh, today we'll be covering my most used loadout, which is that of the Elite Alpha Trooper. Uh, this, for this loadout I use three 12 clips. Uh, and the pinpoint sight, just the tactical uh, rotor stock on the first notch. And my tank expanded secret strike with shotgun attachment. Uh, the sidearm for this loadout is, for the moment, is either a Triad EX3. Uh, this one has an OMW 6 kilo Vulcan skin spring in it, so it's, yeah, it's reasonably powerful. Elite Jolt, if I'm getting brave. This, this one is pretty much stock, but it's still decently powerful. Uh, the Secret Strike uh, is my three barrel shotgun attachment. And my Alpha, this one has the 8.5 kilo black tool spring in it. With um, Air restricted removed, so it's powerful and easy to reload. And the reason I use uh, three 12 clips is because I, I like the look of them, the alpha, and also because the spring is so strong in the alpha that I don't really bother stand firing. Quite painful and really inaccurate. Oh, that's awkward. So basically, well, um, the pros of this loadout are well, powerful. With an 8 kilo spring in the Elite Alpha, it's getting close to 30 meters. Not quite 30 with Elites, but close to it. Uh, the Super Strike with the tank, tank expansion is surprisingly powerful. It can get three elites up to 15 meters using its shotgun shell thingy. The Elite Jolt it's super light, so super easy to carry in. The zip pouch, so like that. And the Triad is. Turn, combines the advantage of rapid fire of the of a revolver with the high power of the jolt. It is quite painful to prime, but eh, it's got a six kilo spring and it's powerful. I don't care. Oh, yep. Yeah, so pros: general high power, the elite alpha, easy to reload. Also, very good rate of fire when I really, really need to do it. The secret strike is that's not good with. Action at all when I need to, I can just put my right arm out with my stop breast against my shoulder and then fire just like that. Pumping, it's not easy because using the stock, stock pump, you need to pump it 22 times. But thanks to the slight, slight of the right rail blank, it is extremely sturdy and a slight of 4 cm nerf rail as well. Now, well, obviously, if my clips all run empty, then my alpha is rendered useless. The the jolt, it's what a single shot, not very good for prolonged firefights. It just, it's a, yeah, it's a single shot. It does what you expect from a single shot. The triad, same. Uh, it does avoid the 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 uh, weakness of a single shot being one shot, but it does still only have three. The obvious advantage of Triad is not having to reload every single shot. And um, so yeah, that's my Elite Alpha 
load out. And on to the second load out for the window. There we go. Yep, there we go. It's sturdy, uses two screws. And then just pops right off. And then slide it for the other end. So my second load out is the yeah. The strife, as you can sort of see. Put this on it. Um, the, the obvious advantage of the strife over the Alpha Trooper, besides its uh, small size, is it is semi auto, so it is a lot easier to fire quickly, although obviously you do lose some range. So, yeah, strife, Italiator stock, because it looks cool and it's pretty comfortable. Uh, Italiator foregrip, again, comfort, the pinpoint sight, just for tactical, super strike shotgun thingy. It's a great backup, and because this is a manual blaster, I mean, sorry, because this is a semi-auto blaster, there's nothing to get in the way of, and more importantly, an 18 clip. Uh, ideally for this loadout I'd use three 18 clips, so two spares and one of the strife, but because pretty much none of my other friends have anything near the hike the number of clips and drops I have. Yeah, I kind of can't be too greedy with clips otherwise they wouldn't have anything and they'll complain. So yeah. Again, the same sidearms, triad, triad, lead jolt. Yeah, couple of those ready. Strife, I run two truss fires in it for 8.4 volts and full charge, and two dummy batteries. So. It's very powerful, even with small magnetism. The alternative to the forklift is using another slide of thing, uh, the rail to rail adapter with the the, the it's out. This one's yellow because that was originally going to use it on my long shot, but until my friends get more powerful stuff, my long shot is totally overkill. Ah, crud. Again, just two screws. Screw them on, and it's sturdy. This is a decent alternative to the retaliated fork. That's the fork grip in itself. I think this gives me three blasters, and means I don't need to carry a sidearm. Powerful, but it does the job. The advantage, main advantage of having this rail, slide of rail rail thingy is it's super strong. Hold it by the scat, and no problem. I could do this if I wanted, no problem. So the pros, well. Strife, easy to get good ranges out of with just throwing truss fires in it. Uh, good rate of fire, excellent rate of fire, rather. Super easy to reload. So, just put this clip. Yeah, good. Uh, it's, it's compact and it's super light. Uh, I can take off. If I really want to run this pistol type SMG sort of thingy, that cons, well, the obvious flywheel cons. You have to rev up, 
You lose, uh, you lose range as you rapid fire. Uh, you can't leave it lift up for too long, otherwise it will run out of power. And all, all that sort of stuff. And besides that, again, my clips run empty. My strife is useless. Super strike takes ages to pump up because the pump is so small. And the scat isn't very strong. Well, no, it'll be free. It's not very powerful, but it does the job. So, yeah, that's my two main burnouts the strife and the, and the Alpha Trooper. Uh, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching, guys.